Alright guys, we're on to the next section, control flow switch in PHP. And here it asks us to write an if, else if, and else statement. So we'll just uh, use if one is greater than two, or if one is less than two. Um, echo out, one is less than two. And remember, we have to put a space here, or it messes everything up. Uh, else if two less than one. Oh, something went wrong with our page. Echo. That is false. And then one last else. And then we'll echo out. Oh, don't forget our semicolon. We'll echo out. This is else area. Semicolon. This is syntax area on line 17. I'm going to copy this and refresh the page. Cool. So, let's save and submit, and this should all work. Um, so, we have one is less than two. I'm not quite sure why this second one's printing out. Deepen your toes and switch statements. Try and figure out which of the case plus gets executed and submit. So switching cases are just kind of like if statements with outcomes, I guess. So switch two is case two. So the value is 2 is what's going to come out. Alright, so. On line 10, there's a switch statement saying, uh, switch Apple. It's saying, fill spots with the correct code. So this will be case 0. We can get rid of Apple here. Or actually, um, let's try it like this. Case zero. Apple echo, and then we need to break it. Let's see if that works. Okay, so uh, in this case we're just using Apple. So let's see here. And we're just testing around here. All right, let's see. In this case, it looks like that should work, though. So case apple, and we break it. So um, let's just go ahead and copy this real quick, and we're going to refresh the page and see if that will work once we. Oh, it looks like we have to instantiate the default. That says echo none of the above period semicolon. Cool. 
There we go. That was the issue we were having. Replace the two underscores to make the switch. Also check for three and four. So let's look at our example here. Alright, so let's say in case one. So case three in case four. I'm not sure if this will work. Let's go ahead and find out. Doesn't look like it's going to. Are you sure you're checking for three? Alright, let's get a hint here. I thought they wanted us to combine them. So, okay. I guess that's all they wanted us to do. You have two ways of creating a switch, switch, and then end switch. Um, just a different uh, syntax. In that area, you have the code of the previous exercise. Make make the code use the alternative syntax rather than the curly brace. Okay, so um, in this case, we're just going to use colon. We're going to take out this, and then we're going to call end switch. That should be it. Uh, we'll refresh the page and just the PHP section is having issues on here. And save and submit. And there we go. Now, our last section create a switch statement with three different cases and a default. I personally like the switch statement. Let's see here. Uh, with the brackets is what I like. And we'll say we'll create a variable here called i. Say i is equal to one. Look for this. And then we'll do case. Zero. Echo. This is case zero. Zip case one. Echo. This is case one. And then we'll do case two. Echo. And then we'll do our default. Default. Echo. This is our default case. And that should work. Oh, and then we need to break. 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 Incorrectly, so that's what I was saying. So let's see here. We're going to control R the page. We're going to look at our hint here. Break. Break. I'm just indenting because they have it. I don't think I need to. There it goes. Um, Alright, so cool. We're going to share as we always do. And 
our next section, it looks like we're going to be getting into arrays. So um, arrays are pretty much an integral part of programming and shouldn't be any different in PHP. So we'll see you guys next time.